Hi there, I'm Mrs. Crawford, and I'm here to introduce to you how you can earn the right to bring your own device to class. Granted, uh, you will not be allowed to bring your mobile device unless your teacher tells you you can, but no one can bring their device until they earn it. Now, if you want to take a look at the screen, right now we're looking at Kenton Ridge's homepage. For Kenton Ridge students, you want to look for the quick links which I'm going to uh, circle for you right now. Uh, you want to look for the quick there right here and you want to look for the digital driver's license. If you see that, that's your first step to bringing your own device. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on digital driver's license. When you do that, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to take you to a new website. So we're going to take a look at that new website right now. That new website is the Digital Driver's License, which is thankfully uh, given to us by the University of Kentucky. It's a free website, and you'll be using that to earn your Bring Your Own Device. Now if you look at the top, uh, it gives you a place to log in. You have to actually make your account before you can log in. So if you look here, there's a button that says New User Sign Up. That's what you're going to do first. So when you click on New User Sign Up, what's going to happen is it's going to ask you a series of information. Now this information, uh, your first name and your last name, you want to put in who you really are or you won't earn your bring your own device. And for email, well in a perfect world you'd already know your uh, email that the school is going to provide you. But since it's the beginning of the year and we haven't gotten there yet, you can put in any email here that's a legitimate address. It could be your parents' email, it could be your private email, but go ahead and enter that information and pause this video. Once you've created your account, uh, once you've entered your first, last, and email, uh, unpause the video and I'll show you what to do next. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make an account because I'm not really interested in uh, creating this. I've already done my account for me, but to show you how to make it. So I've entered in an email. It says, search for your district using this field. This is really important. If you don't actually put in the right information here, then we won't know that you've completed your license. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing in Northeastern. You'll notice that it's the very first link, so I'm going to choose that. Once I've chosen Northeastern, then it's going to ask me what's my school. Since we're at Kenton Ridge, I'm going to start typing in Kenton Ridge, and there it is. The last thing you're going to enter, it says search for your advisor's last name. As much as I would love to get an email every time that you complete a part of your digital driver's license, you're actually going to put in Mrs. Stewart's name. She's our librarian. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing in Stewart. And there she is, if I spell her name right. And I'm going to choose her and then hit register. It's really important when you get to this next screen. It's going to give you a pre-created uh, password. Write it down. If you don't write it down, then it doesn't come out right. All right? So now I'm going to actually show you what happens after you get into the website. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and log in as me. Now when I log in as me, uh, I'm going to show you what happens next. So go ahead and put in your username, which is your email, and your password, which was provided to you. And it says student. I'm going to choose teacher because that's me, but you're going to go ahead and put in your student. And don't worry, my information will change the next time I do this video. So it says to you, uh, what is it that you want to do? At the top here, and I'm going to go ahead and circle it so that you can see it, uh, you want to choose work on DDL cases for license. Once you've chosen that, uh, then what's going to happen is it's going to go to the next screen. I'm running out of time for this video, so I'm going to go ahead and say done and I will show you the rest of it in the next part.